Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you this morning? Hi. Well, that's great. My name is Igusti Ayumade Putri Natalia, but you can call me as Mbo Ge. In Balinese language, Mbo means sister and Ge means I am a young Balinese girl. Today, I will be your local guide and I'm feeling so happy to meet all of you here. I hope your visit in Bali Museum will be awesome and have unforgettable moment for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have you got your ticket first? Yes, well, because of we are still in the pandemic condition, please to stay follow the health protocols, such as wearing your mask during your visit. Please wash your hands over there or using the hand sanitizer. And please keep the distance between each other and please scan the barcode first over there. All right, before we start our visit, is there any question from you? Um, what tower is this? Well, this big and beautiful tower is called Bale Kulko. Well, Bale Kulko is a Balinese pavilion for placing a slit lock drum, or local people call it as Kulko. So it usually used as a traditional communication for gathering people whenever there is a disaster or a special moment like fire or flood. All right, that's all. Uh, should we start now? Yes. yes? All right. Let's go. Follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bali Museum, one of the best ethnography museum in Bali. The Bali Museum is located at the center of Denpasar City, where in front of this museum, over there, there is Puputan Square. Puputan means fighting until the last blood. And on the north side of this museum, over there, there is a mother temple in Denpasar named Jagatnata Temple. So this is a public temple for Hindu people. Ladies and gentlemen, Bali Museum is an ethnography museum that collects cultural objects from prehistoric until modern times that reflects all the elements of Balinese culture and has the historical value. Bali Museum was built in 1910 with traditional architecture and Balinese ornaments which blends between the Balinese Hinduism temple and a castle or a palace. The initiators of Bali Museum were the Dutch governor, which was WFG2 as the Dutch resident assistant and also the kings in Bali, which were the kings from Tabanan, Karangasam, and Bularan Kingdom. Well, Bali Museum were officially opened on 8 December 1931. Ladies and gentlemen, Bali Museum is following the structure of three mandala concepts, which means three parts of area. Consists of Mr. Mandala as the outer part over there, the parking area, and then Madhya Mandala as the middle part where we're standing now, and the last one is Utama Mandala as the main part of this area. Ladies and gentlemen, Bali Museum consists of four main buildings. As you can see here, it is consists of Tabanan Building, Sarangasan Building, Bulelang Building, and East Building. So they name each building with the name of kingdoms that donated coast for build this museum. And each building has their own uniqueness and it is representing its region. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to explore each building and start it from the this building. Let's follow me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are now in the East Building. So the collection here are from Balinese prehistoric times until the modern times. So in this first floor, it tells about the Balinese prehistoric times. As you can see in front of you, this is called sarcophagus. So sarcophagus is a traditional coven made from a stone that displayed above the ground. It is one of the example of traditional culture from megalithic era. Well, now let's go to the second floor. Please follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, the collections in this second floor is consists of traditional household, like for cooking, farming, ceremonial, and many others. Okay, so in front of you, this one is Balinese Wuku calendar. It looks so complicated, right? Yes. Yes. The calculation is using the 210 days of lunar cycle. So, if you see the laterally, it consists of 30 weeks. And then if you see from the top to the bottom, it consists of 7 days. So, if we total it, it will be 210 days. So, this one looks like a keyboard, right? 
Okay, now let's go to the next building, which is Bulaleng Building. Please follow me. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are now in the Bulaleng Building. So this building is symbolized the art building from North Bali. Well, let's go inside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the collection here is various kinds of uang kepeng or piece bolong from Majapahit, Banten, Palembang, and China from 8th until the 9th centuries. Right in front of you, this is one of the kinds of uang kepeng or piece bolong as Balinese first money. Do you have it in your country? No. No? Well, that's why it has historical value. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move on to the next building, which is Karangasem Building. Please follow me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are now in front of the Karangasem building. So, this building is representing the art building from East Bali. Now, let's follow me to enter this building. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the collection here is various kinds of chili. Chili here is not chili for cooking, but chili as a symbol of fertility or prosperity and it using for ceremonial equipment. As you can see in this picture, it's so beautiful, right? Okay, now let's go to the next building, which is Tabanan Building. Please follow me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tabanan Building. So, this is a symbol of art building from South and West Bali. It has a beautiful architecture, right? Yes. So, let's go inside to see the collection here. Please follow me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the collection here is various kinds of keris. Keris is an asymmetrical dagger which used as a weapon or a spiritual objects. And this one is the most interesting collection here. This is the symbol of Barong Keris Dance Customs. But can you tell us about the story of Barong Dance? All right, so Barong Keris Dance tells us about the fighting between the good and the bad. This one is called Rangde as the bad one, and that one is called Barong as the good one. All right, now let's follow me because I want to show you an interesting, beautiful gate in Bali. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I told you before, that this museum is the combination between the Balinese Hinduism temple and a castle or a palace. Right in front of you, this one is called Bale Bengong. So Bale Bengong is a resting pavilion for the royal family in a palace. In the royal era, royal family used this Bale Bengong to see the situation outside the museum. And if you go to upstairs, you might see the view of Denpasar city and it's really beautiful. All right, before we end this trip, I want to show you an interesting gate here. Please follow me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on your right side, this one is called Candi Bentar. So, Candi Bentar is a symbol of Rua Bineda, or two opposite things in our life, such as good and bad, day and night, male, female, and many others. On your left side, there is a gate named Candi Kurung or Kori Agung. So, this gate is symbolized mountain. And if you see, there is a monster head above it. It is called Boma. Who is Boma? Well, Boma is a son from God Wisnu, and because of his bad behavior, God Wisnu cursed him into a monster to protect the mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all my information about Bali Museum. So, how do you feel after looking around at this great museum? Awesome. Well, nice to hear that. And yes, you have free time to explore more about this museum and capturing the moment. And before leaving this museum, please to check your personal belonging and make sure there is nothing left. Well, that's all my information. Thank you so much for visiting and trusting me as your local guide. Thank you. Have a great day. See you next time. Thank you.